Share LPI Security Essentials Exam 0 2 100 Real Questions to Practice Online Question 1 The correct answer is D. Dependence on Internet Connection When deploying a cloud storage solution, dependence on Internet Connection is a critical consideration. Users' ability to access and synchronize data stored in the cloud relies heavily on a stable and reliable Internet connection. Without a consistent connection, users may experience difficulties accessing or syncing their data, which can disrupt workflow and productivity. Therefore, it's essential to assess and plan for potential Internet connectivity issues when implementing a cloud storage solution. Question 2. The correct answer is C. Report the lost card to the building security office. When finding an RFID card on the ground outside your office building, it's important to take responsible action. Reporting the lost card to the building security office ensures that proper measures can be taken to safeguard the building's security. This helps prevent unauthorized access to the building using the lost card and allows the rightful owner to retrieve it. Leaving the card where it is or using it for personal gain could potentially compromise the security of the building and violate ethical and legal standards. Question 3 the correct answer is B. Using password hashing and salting. Online services typically store passwords using a technique called password hashing and salting. When a user creates an account and sets a password, the password is not stored in plain text. Instead, it is passed through a cryptographic hash function which generates a fixed-size string of characters known as a hash. Additionally, a random value called a salt is added to the password before hashing to further enhance security. Question 4. The correct answer is B. Data mining. Data mining involves collecting data from various sources including online services and social media, for various purposes, which may include malicious ones. In the context of the question, data mining poses a potential threat to the confidentiality of personal information because it involves the unauthorized collection and analysis of data, often without the knowledge or consent of the individuals whose data is being mined. Question 5. The correct answer is D. Liability. Liability in the context of a security breach refers to the legal responsibility or obligation of a party to compensate another party for harm caused by the breach. When a security breach occurs and results in harm to individuals or entities, the responsible party may be held liable for damages. This could involve compensating affected individuals for financial losses, damages to their reputation, or other forms of harm resulting from the breach. Question 6. The correct answer is B. Disconnect your computer from the Internet. When you suspect unauthorized remote access to your computer, the first step is to prevent further unauthorized access by disconnecting your computer from the Internet. This action helps to cut off the potential attacker's access and prevents them from causing further harm or stealing more data. Question 7 The correct answer is D. Browser fingerprinting. 
Browser fingerprinting is the term used to describe the unique identifier assigned to a user's web browser based on various characteristics and attributes of the browser and its environment. These characteristics can include the browser version, installed plugins, screen resolution, operating system, language settings, and other parameters. Browser fingerprinting is often used by websites and advertisers for tracking and identifying users across different browsing sessions. Question 8 The correct answer is a an organization-specific VPN, virtual private network. Setting up an organization-specific VPN is the most appropriate solution for providing secure remote access to the company network. A VPN creates a secure encrypted connection between the remote user's device and the company's network, allowing employees to access company resources securely from remote locations. This ensures that data transmitted between the remote user and the company network is protected from eavesdropping and interception by unauthorized parties. Question 9 The correct answer is CAES, Advanced Encryption Standard. AES, Advanced Encryption Standard is an example of symmetric encryption. In symmetric encryption, the same key is used for both encryption and decryption processes. AES is widely used for securing sensitive data and communications because of its efficiency and security. Question 10 The correct answer is be fair use. Fair use is a prevalent principle in copyright law that allows for limited use of copyrighted material without requiring permission from the rights holder. It enables certain uses of copyrighted material for purposes such as criticism, commentary, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, or research, without the need to obtain permission or pay royalties. Fair use is determined on a case-by-case -case basis by considering factors such as the purpose and character of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the portion used, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for or value of the copyrighted work.